Bruce Gearing, Superintendent for Dripping Springs ISD, and welcome to this edition of Tiger Tracks. Keeping the attention of fourth graders can be challenging in the month of May, but not for Mrs. Hack at Rooster Springs Elementary School. She designed an escape room to get her students to do things that they were pretty tired of doing. Let's go see what they're all about. Kiddos, someone else has escaped. Today we did an ELA escape room to prepare the kids for, um, well, to celebrate actually the end of the year, to celebrate all the strategies we've learned this year, and to do a little fun prep for STAR. We need to look in the poem to see, to see if she's an illustrator. They had three puzzles to solve. The first puzzle was an inference scavenger hunt so they could practice their inferencing skills. We had this piece of paper and we had to go around the room with it and get letters from each task card to um, try and solve the word. The second step was to um, read a poem and you had to answer questions that followed and at the very end you took the questions and you put whatever answer you had into words and it spelled out ice cream. Once they solved puzzle number two, they went to puzzle number three which was a multiple meaning mayhem. It was like vocabulary and we had to see what the word meant. I really liked the last challenge to figure out the meaning of each word and also it had a little bit of math involved which I really like math. These are the three um, skills my kids needed additional practice on. What, is it right? Yeah! Yes! <laughs> when they escape the ELA room, they're outside making posters that say we escaped. One of my groups that finished, they were dead last after the first one, and they were looking a little deflated. But by the end, they were my fourth group to escape the room because they had perseverance and they didn't give up. And they kept coming and saying, I don't like this because it's challenging. And then they would come back to the second puzzle and say, I do like this because it's challenging. They just, once they had a little success under their belt, then they got the hang of it and they had fun. I just liked working together and how we got to like try to hurry to get out of the room. I think it was getting to work with my friends and getting to just try and solve out tricky um, questions. I love it because they don't realize they're practicing those skills, they're having fun, but they're getting to do multiple choice questions and answers. They're seeing the format. Isn't it great to see students having fun, number one, competing against each other? But we even had a student who said, we didn't even do any work. Thanks for listening. Have a great week.